Why would you think thinking? I'm not thinking anything right now apart from Ian. Ian! Well, go on then. Just let me knees are up to it. Well, maybe he's upstairs. Well, if he is, he ain't taking any pills, look. And now he kicks his door in, so don't come run to me when he hands you the bill. Well, where is he? Ian! So, no David, no wedding. Soon he'll be queuing up to say, I told you so. How are you feeling? Numb. This will make you laugh. For years and years, I wanted to be him. A little part of me still does. Sorry? Who? David. <sighs> I wanted to be David Witt. You are joking? No. <laughs> Not that long ago, he... He said that he envied me. If only he knew. Why would anybody want to be David? <laughs> well, Cindy was crazy about him in a way that she never was with me, and I just thought that if I had a little bit of what he had, and maybe I wouldn't hate myself as much. Oh, Carol, have you got any idea how much of a struggle it is to pretend to be someone you're not? I mean, for him, it's easy. I mean, it's, it's just so very easy. You think you're putting on an axe? <laughs> what do you think David's doing? His whole life is an act. Oh, David is the most damaged person I know. Insecure, vulnerable, needy. If you're talking about hating yourself, step aside, because seriously, David wears that crown, trust me. You're just saying that to try and make me feel better. Uh, now, I've known him since I've been at school. You know, I know every little corner of his squalid little life. So why are you marrying him? Well, I'm not, am I? Why were you marrying him? My mum used to say, the heart has its reasons, of which reason knows nothing. Of course, she was talking about my dad. With some people, it's booze, drugs, fags. With me, it's always been David. Arms are getting too short. Mm. Right, Sharon's waiting for me back at mine. I wish she'd stop. She's just trying to look out for you. I know, but I, I can't face her. Yeah, well, I can't face the kids, but sooner or later I'm going to have to. Come on, I'll walk back with you. I'm really aware that we've not mentioned Lucy. Or your breast cancer. Good, isn't it? Come on.